tragedy this weekend in the scenic crown jewel of Canada's national park system. Two hikers were killed in a deadly grizzly bear attack in Banff. And while such attacks are rare, it comes as bears are preparing for hibernation and the risk of surprise encounters is increasing. CTV's Nicole DiDonato reports. It's a quiet, picturesque place where people can immerse themselves in nature. But on Friday night, in this remote area of Banff National Park, a grizzly bear killed a husband and wife. These are people who were, were great humans, great adventurers, spent a lot of time in the outdoors and in the backcountry, uh, you know, had a lot of expertise. So it's, of course, a, a big shock to the family. The attack has left some on edge. Over the years, there's been more and more grizzly bear sightings from us as riders and hunters. and one trip, you can see up to five in a small area. Parks Canada received an alert from a GPS device around 8 Friday night, indicating a bear attack. It came from the Red Deer River Valley, west of Yaha Tinda Ranch. A specially trained Parks Canada team rushed to the area. Because of the weather, they couldn't use a helicopter, so hiked in overnight. Around 1 a.m., they found the couple dead and encountered an aggressive grizzly bear. It was euthanized for public safety. Parks Canada also closed part of the Red Deer and Panther Valleys as a precaution until November 30th. The actual chances of being killed by them is, is quite low. It's about 14% of people actually die from grizzly bear attacks. So uh, it is an unusual case. Alberta Forestry and Parks calls it a tragic incident and offers its condolences to the victim's loved ones, saying in a statement, during the fall, bears are preparing for hibernation and the risk of surprise wildlife encounters increases. Campers and hikers in the area are taking extra precautions. Stay on your toes, keep your wits about you. It's always good to pack bear spray if you can. We carry a little thing like this, it means a lot. Communication with your family and you can SOS anytime and coordinates. RCMP took the victim's bodies to Sundry. The investigation continues into what led to the fatal attack. They were doing what they love with the person that they loved. Nicole DiDonato, CTV News, Banff National Park.